her eyes were like this, like that, sort of. Here we go, this is a video about my Australia Day. I thought if I was going to make a video about Australia Day, I might as well do it outside because, you know, Australia. This is the view I have, lovely country Australia. We've got some horses and an awesome bit of dry area, you know orange trees, whatever. So Australia Day, the normal Australia Day for an Australian person, probably, you know, wake up, have some wheat bix with a can of VB or something, then go to the pool or beach, have a barbecue, have a sanger, and probably another couple of cans of VB. Well, it might surprise you, but I am not fully Australian. No, I'm not Indian, just because I've got dark skin, I'm actually Italian. Now, my Australia Day so far has been different to what you'd expect for a Australian 19 year old living in Australia. So this morning I woke up, had my normal breakfast, I had a couple of pieces of toast or whatever, and I was going to go to my friend's place to the pool, we're going to have a barbecue, sausages, probably have a couple of drinks or whatever, you know, the normal Australia day thing. But that is not how my morning and majority of my afternoon actually went. So I live with my grandparents, I live with my grandmother and my grandfather, or I could say I live with my nonna and my nonna. So when I woke up, I was actually about to leave and go to the pool with my friends. So just before I went outside, I had grabbed my keys, had my sunglasses on and everything. I was about to leave, my nonna comes up to me. Sammy, can you come outside, help me? I get you to do something, you'll help me really quickly. And naturally, I'm gonna help my nonna. It's my nonna, she's awesome, she does a lot of things for me. So yeah, I'm gonna help her if she wants me to do something, I'm gonna help her. I focus something small, 10, 15 minutes, I help her, then I'll go to the pool and have a normal Australia day. So what I actually had to do is probably the most Italian thing ever on Australia day. So an Italian tradition of my family is that they make sauce for, they make tomato sauce so sauce you can put in pastas and in and on pizza and stuff like that and my family did this probably a couple of weeks ago we made we made the sauce basically we make the sauce and we put all the sauce we make into bottles and now what i had to do was i had to move all the bottles around in the shed for non actually actually you know what i'll just show you this is the shed every single one of those bottles has tomato sauce in it. Now, what I actually had to do was, okay, so if you see, my grandparents are actually very picky when it comes to the placement of the bottles. So each shelf represents the year of when the bottles were made. So this bottom shelf here is the shelf that's obviously easiest to access for my grandparents. And now these are the ones they want to use up. These are the oldest bottles. Now these, all these old ones, as you can see, there's a lot of them. There's a fair few. All of them, they were all up there. Now up there is all new ones. All the new ones were all in these crates and there's some more there, and because I have to give them to away to people and to cousins and to relatives, they've given them away, that's why they're still there. But, so basically, I had to, it was basically a double handling job. I had to get those, they were there, put them here, so that was easier for my grandmother to grab. And then, these ones up here, they were behind there, behind all that other stuff, so I had to move all this stuff, put them there, because they're the second oldest, and they have to be there, because the second oldest, and that's where the bottles of the second oldest go. And then I had to put the new ones, up there, lifting bottle by bottle at a time. It was a long and tedious process, and we got it done. Team, non and Sam, it was pretty fun. So yeah, while someone on Australia Day might, you know, like I said, go to the pool, go to the beach, I was stacking tomato sauce bottles. So that probably took over about an hour, hour and a half, something like that, to do all that for her. By the time I did all that, it was lunchtime, and I thought, okay, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to make it to lunch with my friends, I'm gonna have to, you know, just go to the pool after with them, whatever, we miss out on the Sanger. <laughs> Good old Australia Day Sanger. Lunch, well, I didn't have, a barbecue, it wasn't a sausage sizzle. <laughs> Lunch was probably the most Italian thing, again, that you could ever have, and we had it on Australia Day. Here's what we had. I mean, it was damn good. It was, it was unreal. <laughs> it was so good, it was so tasty. I'm pretty happy I had that. It was actually really, really nice. But you know, funny how it's supposed to be Australia Day and I'm having pasta with eggplant and it's whatever. It was really good, but you know, probably could have been good to have like a, an Australian meal. So I thought, okay, awesome. I had lunch, now I can go to the pool. Samuel, before you go, can you please help me with one more thing? One more thing? I said, yeah, sure. Surely it should be fine. Surely it should only be 10 minutes because she knew I wanted to go. She knew I was going to go celebrate Australia Day with my friends. I think she just wanted to help me with something really quickly. When you help them with something, it's never a quick 10 minute thing. They always have something else for you to do whilst you're doing it. Anyway, I'll show you what I had to do. All right, you see this area here? Apart from apart from my dog, Charlie. Come here. Come here. Aww. This area here, you know, apart from the swing as well, it looks, you know, looks pretty clean. I don't know, if, I don't know about you guys. It looks pretty clean, doesn't it? looks pretty clean, doesn't it, Charlie? Yeah. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Well, it was worse before. Anyway, there were leaves, dead leaves, all here, which was fine. And also, actually, there's there's some over there. See how they're all in a pile over there? That's that's the leaves. Well, there would have been more, but we had to put the leaves in the red bin. And the bin is literally full. Bin got emptied yesterday, and now it's already full, full of leaves. Now, this would have taken probably about five minutes to sweep up with a rake or whatever to sweep the leaves. But no, when you do one thing, you have to do 
all the way over here, those leaves here, those leaves there, those leaves everywhere, had to do everywhere. So what would have been a five minute job actually ended up going for about half an hour. So yeah, I spent some of my afternoon of Australia Day not relaxing at the beach, sweeping up leaves, yeah. It was fun. So after all that was done, finally I could go to the pool. So I went to the pool, that was great. I had a normal Australia day as anyone else would have. And then what happened was when I got home, walked inside, Nonna was half asleep watching TV. She didn't have it on the free Australian channels. We actually have an Italian station that we get via satellite from Italy. I don't know, not really sure how they do it. But anyway, she was watching that channel. Well, she was half watching that channel because she was half asleep. Her eyes were like this, like that sort of but anyway i looked at the tv what was on the godfather yes how much more of an italian movie can you get to watch on australia day so yeah that was interesting to say at least i wasn't actually planning on making a video about australia day but the events that happened to me today i thought it's just very funny and random for it to happen today of all days on australia day but nevertheless i'd still had a great day i do would do anything for my grandparents so it was no trouble at all for me to help them i just thought i'd tell you about it and the things i had to do and yeah that's all anyway i hope you guys had a good australia day anyone that doesn't live in australia i hope you had a good normal day if, you, if there's any special day today anyway yeah so each shelf represents a year of wit of... what 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 yeah that's right keep on walking that's right